human beings. In the control room of a nuclear power plant, they are the key link in the information chain. Scanning, interpreting, and most importantly, responding to a flood of operating data. In this environment, the human ability to respond is only limited by the quantity, clarity, and accessibility of the data provided. Yet studies have shown that conventional control facilities may have built-in obstacles which can slow that response. For example, too much data may be presented at one time, forcing operators to search for the specific information they need. Display formats are often cluttered or unclear, making comprehension difficult. Moreover, cumbersome coding and access procedures frequently get in the way, hampering data acquisition and slowing operator response. Under normal conditions, reduced response time can result in lost plan efficiency and availability. And in an emergency situation, the stakes can be even higher. In light of post-TMI studies and recent regulatory guidelines, it's apparent that we can no longer ignore the human element of plant control. But there are even more convincing reasons why we shouldn't. At Westinghouse, we believe that human-oriented display systems can yield significant benefits to nuclear utilities. Higher operating efficiency, for example. More accurate diagnostics and trending. And improved plant availability. To make this possible, we've developed new tools and methods based on the latest research into human perception and cognition. Tools you can put to work today to make the key link in your information chain the strongest link. Since the early 70s, Westinghouse engineers have invested thousands of man hours toward the development of new control technologies for nuclear applications. It hasn't been easy, but all along we've had a number of important factors on our side. One is our familiarity with the operation of nuclear generating plants. As a pioneer in the field, we've logged more than 30 years in the design and construction of nuclear installations worldwide. Another is our experience in the area of industrial controls technology. Long before the age of nuclear power, Westinghouse was already a leader in the development of control systems for chemical plants, petroleum refineries, and other manufacturing facilities. We were also among the first to enhance conventional controls through the application of advanced computer and microprocessor technologies. One of our major breakthroughs in nuclear systems monitoring was this advanced control room, or ACR. Based on high-speed computer hardware, the ACR went a long way towards speeding the flow of plant information. But that was only half the battle. We knew that speed wasn't enough. We also needed a way to better organize data, to make it clearer and more accessible. And that essentially is what we've been able to do with this, the Westinghouse Emergency Response Facility Computer System. Designed to permit maximum flexibility for both normal operations and special contingencies, this sophisticated display system may be applied to all four NRC recommended plant monitoring functions. The control room, the on-site technical support center, the off-site emergency operations facility, and other off-site communications supports, such as the nuclear data link and emergency utility coordination facilities. While each of the display systems associated with these sites serves a different function, they have a number of things in common. For example, information available at each location is drawn from a common database. This database features real-time data for plant operations, as well as historical data for trending and projections of plant performance. In addition, all display functions are driven by a common, expandable 32-bit computer system. This system offers optional redundant CPUs and standard features, such as multiple CRTs and built-in failover switching. That means your plant data is always available, even in the unlikely event of a component failure. Yet hardware alone isn't the key. What really distinguishes our emergency response facility computer system are the concepts that were developed here by the Westinghouse Human Factors Research Team. Over the past few years, the Human Factors Group here at Westinghouse has conducted detailed analyses of many variables that affect operator behavior and task performance. These include studies in visual perception, pattern recognition, and basic thinking processes. 
Human subjects for these tests included control room operators representing a broad range of experience and aptitude. On the basis of those studies, we defined four discrete task functions which operators must frequently perform. First, they must be able to quickly detect changes in operating data. Second, they must be able to verify that data. Third, they must be able to diagnose the causes and correct the situation to meet acceptable parameters. And fourth, they must be able to obtain feedback regarding the effect of corrective actions, both automatic and manual. To facilitate performance of these tasks, Westinghouse has developed a human-oriented man-machine interface featuring CRT displays coupled with an interactive operator keyboard. Data displays are organized in a hierarchy by level of detail and may be accessed at the push of a button. In addition, all displays present data in readily understandable formats, which are color enhanced to permit more rapid identification of changing plant conditions. Perhaps the best illustration of simplified data presentation is the top level status display, which features polar graphic or iconic representation of plant conditions. Based on similar data graphics first employed in medical diagnosis and economic analysis, the iconic display is far less complicated than a bar chart or an alphanumeric readout. As a result, it allows operators to identify off-parameter situations at a glance. As you can see, each of eight major plant parameters is represented as a point on a regular octagon. As long as the figure retains its regular shape, the operator knows that all systems are operating within acceptable boundaries. However, the moment any of the eight variables falls out of spec, the iconic figure begins to deform. This alteration in shape is so conspicuous that even minor variances become instantly apparent. Consequently, most system faults can be recognized long before they reach the alarm stage. As an additional feature, any variable entering alarm mode on any display is always highlighted in red wherever it appears. This display, for example, simulates what an operator would see in the event of a reactor coolant loss. Using this display alone, the operator could quickly determine the nature and extent of the fault, and to some degree its impact on related systems. Once the fault has been detected, the operator may then request the second level status display. This display presents a summary of major plant safety systems and indicates whether or not the automatic plant safeguards are functioning as intended. If necessary, the operator can also call up a detailed schematic of the specific system at fault. The system is represented as a simplified function schematic with actual and reference values indicated for all important variables. Finally, should more detailed troubleshooting be required, the operator may call up a fourth level alphanumeric display, listing all sensor data values for the individual system. These values are listed in an easy to reference format. Other features available for specialized operating support include a variety of retrievable trending and historical data displays in the form of continuous line plots, which show data variances over specified periods of time, video copiers, which can provide hard copy printouts of any CRT display, and as an option, a bypassed and inoperable status indication display, which provides operating and technical support personnel with a summary status of engineered safety features. In addition, iconic displays can be reconstructed and replayed in real time from stored historical data. This affords both a convenient operator reference and an invaluable tool for training and evaluation. Any of the available data displays may be requested using the operator keyboard. The keyboard includes a standard alphanumeric keypad, a directional cursor pad, a cursor joystick, and a series of dedicated function keys which provide push-button access to frequently used displays. A variety of data access techniques have been incorporated into the keyboard. These have been specially designed to simplify data acquisition, even for less experienced operators. In most instances, the desired display may be requested using one of the dedicated function keys. Operators who are unfamiliar with specific displays can reference them using a map menu display listing like this one. Once the display has been located, the operator can then request it by entering the designated page number or by placement of the cursor over the system for which a display is desired. Once a display schematic has been accessed, 
successive levels of detail may be requested simply by positioning the cursor over the appropriate graphic element. For example, by moving the cursor over this graphic representing one of four steam generators, the operator can immediately summon this detailed functional diagram. Moreover, he can examine the complete system simply by paging up and down or left to right. Naturally, we're convinced the Westinghouse Emergency Response Facility can be a valuable tool for improving the efficiency and availability of nuclear utilities. But we're not the only ones. A lot of our customers are convinced, too. Take the South Carolina Electric and Gas Company, for example. Recently, we installed an emergency response facility computer system at the Virgil Summer Nuclear Generating Plant near Columbia. Similar to other such Westinghouse installations, which are currently in place nationwide, the SCENG Emergency Response Facility computer system has already had a significant impact on plant operations. At the VC Summer Nuclear Station, we feel that the plant safety system display system will better enable the operators to monitor parameters that are vital to the safe operation of our plant. We also feel that the uh, bistable and operative status safety system display will allow us to view the status of all safety systems uh, and, and let us know at any given time the, whether they will be able to provide or perform their specific function in a safety situation. The Westinghouse Emergency Response Facility computer system can have an impact on your plant operations too now and in the future. In the near term, it can be a practical investment toward enhancing day-to-day -day operating efficiency, while at the same time conforming to current NRC recommendations for human-oriented display of plant information. And in the long run, the system's built-in expandability gives it total capability to grow with your needs, ensuring flexible, effective performance for years to come. Westinghouse can meet your plant's unique requirements by developing custom data management and display systems. Drawing on a vast pool of multidisciplinary engineering and service supports, we can work with you to develop a cost-effective, state-of-the-art system design that can be integrated with your existing plant instrumentation and procedures. What's more, we'll provide additional support in other critical areas such as quality assurance and licensing. We'll also support you with comprehensive operator training, including basic education in hardware and software design, as well as hands-on training using our full-scale simulator, which includes an emergency response facility computer system. Finally, we're prepared to conduct continuous system evaluation from pre-design to installed operations to ensure that both system capabilities and user satisfaction are maximized. At Westinghouse, we're committed to helping you get the most out of your nuclear investment. And the Emergency Response Facility Computer System is just one way we're bringing that commitment home. With the aid of new and more powerful information processing technologies, and through the application of fresh insights in the field of human engineering, we'll help you take the first step toward making the key link in your information chain the strongest link.